Garez looking for nicely. Oh, off the post. The ball had gone out, but Yisley somehow got behind the defense, and Nick Noble, he misread that ball, Ryan. It looked like he was going to play it. Beautiful ball. There's Langley going up against Lee. He's got him to the end line. Langley's still with the ball. Still with the ball. Is able to find McLaughlin. Well done by Jimmy McLaughlin at the top of the box. This is their second of the evening. You see absolutely no Richmond players attacking. Oh, just over the top. That was Richie Marquez with that. In for William Yambi to see if um, William Yambi can come back onto the field. And you can tell by the roar of the crowd, yeah, Yambi's back on the field. <laughs> <laughs> And might I add, Jason Yisley is, uh, gosh, two years ago was kind of a makeshift center back. Oh. And it's a goal for Harrisburg. Morgan Langley takes advantage of the turnover. We've mentioned that, Ryan. There have been a Absolutely. couple of sloppy turnovers from Richmond. And a little bit of a celebration uh, from Harrisburg. Not too sure exactly <laughs> what that was. but uh, It looked coordinated, but that was a yeah. really, really nice play from Harrisburg to capitalize on the turnover. Morgan Langley, if you give him an opportunity, he's going to take advantage of it, and he's sure he buried it. Ryan Taylor with no chance on that. Ab thing. Yes. yes, Robbie Dershang. And uh, Morgan Langley was the quote-unquote super sub for that game for Dershang. And in this game, Morgan Langley obviously had to step up and really say, hey, Bill Betcher, listen, I'm here. The turnover. Here's Yisley. He's in. Noble is out, and it's a goal for Richmond. Jason Yisley with great composure on that, Ryan. Excellent from finish from Jason Yisley. And if I'm not mistaken, that ball was turned over almost about midway and one pass to Jason Yisley, and he's wide open there. Thought his first touch was taking him a little bit too wide. I thought it, it was a good first touch as far as weight of it. But I thought it took him a little bit too wide, and he had a small little window to play that pass on Noble's left-hand side. Wasn't too sure if it was going to squeak in that post, but in fact it did. Big club, not your own. Great support from the Red Army this uh, this entire year. I've done a great job this this week in particular, drumming up support for this uh, for this game tonight. Literally drumming up support. I did not mean to say that. Actually, <laughs> here's Asante on the right side. Good turn from Davis. Oh, Ooh. and it's off the post. And is that the counter? They've got five guys up. Here's Hardware again. McLaughlin with a great ball. That's a that's a great. He's onside, looking for Hardware. Who finds the back of the net? And what you've got, you've almost got two separate games that are going on here. You've got Harrisburg, who's going all the way down offensively, and you've got the. He's got Davis. Out to Spitz. Davis is able to get through traffic. And the post again for Richmond. That's the third time this evening that they've hit the post. That's twice Incredible. from George Davis, the fourth. Incredible. Just a little bit more space there. And they tried that over the top ball. Here's Spitz. Oh, what a great save. And a miss from Yisley from point-blank range. He was offside anyway. And if I've seen the substitutes board correctly, it looks as though Kyle Porter is going to be making uh, making his way for Matthew Delacott. So they're going to leave some big field here. Another poor, poor giveaway from Richmond. Good interception from Langley. He's got him. And there's the goal for Harrisburg. Absolutely. That is an absolute backbreaker. And, Mark, how many times have we said that? That's probably about the third or, or even the fourth goal, all goals in this game that have come from poor mistakes. Higher half, they've hit the post. Noble's come up with a couple of great saves. Harrisburg's really only had one good opportunity, and they've scored. And there's a goal. It's not over yet, Ryan. Absolutely. And look who it is. Connor Shinovsky. Connor Shinovsky coming up big from the back there, just beating Nick Noble to the ball. Nick Noble thinking he can get there a little bit quicker, tries to get a punch on it. Connor Shinovsky, I'm not even sure if he was really trying to hit that as a glancing header. He was past the near post and able to at least redirect that in the direction of the goal. And sure enough, it does wind up going in. And you've got a wild card coming on here. As and that is the ball game. That is your final score. And right away, as professional as both coaches are, Lee Kalashaw and Bill Betcher. Bill Betcher 
extremely happy in a huddle with his coaches breaks away from that just to go shake Lee Kalashal's hand well, there's very a lot very of professional obviously. as as you said yeah they're two very professional teams professional coaches who have a long history they might not be the best of friends but there's an enormous amount of respect there and between the two clubs as well they're all high five and shaking each other's hands absolutely uh, very very i mean Ryan i've had a blast this has been a very very good game harrisburg 3 richmond 2